Hey guys, welcome to Truth Corner, and today's session is mom guilt. Da da da. So I wanted to talk about this because I think it's very real. Um, I had a lot of mom guilt after my divorce. I felt like I couldn't give my son what he truly needed to thrive because I was a divorce. And the crazy thing is, when you think of divorce, some people bounce back, but I just thought it was the end of the world for me. Like, where can my life go after this? And the crazy part is, it wasn't like my life was so great. It wasn't like I had this rich husband and we were living the life and then I went from that to nothing. We had nothing, we still got nothing. <laughs> like, you know, I'm like in the, where, <laughs> I'm in the making of being somebody that I'm supposed to be, right? So my mom guilt came from just like, not giving my son the traditional family of husband and wife, mom and dad in the home. And I start to parent out of guilt too. And I think that's why my son is a little bit of a spoiled brat, but we're really it in because I don't want him to be like that. And then too, I mean, if he's gonna be like that, he's not gonna have a bunch of friends because nobody's gonna wanna deal with him. Anyway, um, so that was part of that. And I'm sure that some of you guys who've been divorced probably thought about that like man I couldn't give my son the traditional family how is he going to thrive you know what what's their life going to be if mommy or if daddy is not in the house I know we have some single dads out there too like thinking like how I'm going to do this without a woman or my wife or whatever so once I got over the mom guilt I start to realize like and I learned this down the line I learned this down the line that a lot of kids who are not, who are in two parent homes are kids who are really a mess. And I can't say that for everybody, but just because you have two parents in a home don't mean you gonna have it all together. Therein lies of what I've dated and been with. I've dated with a lot of men. I even married a person who had both of parents at home and they were not all cracked up as they were supposed to be, right? And then, so I guess I had that false sense of like, if you don't have a mom and dad in the home, your life is gonna be crazy. You're not gonna be all that you're supposed to be, you know, and it is what it is. But I had two parents in my home and me and my sister are not nearly what my parents want us to be or wanted us to be. You know, I think we are now, you know, I'm sure they're very proud of us, but they wanted us to, you know, finish school and things like that and whatnot. And I have one degree, but I didn't finish um, to get my other degrees. My sister is not in school right now, doesn't have a degree. And not saying that our parents love us any less, but they had expectations for us. And because we were both in a two-parent home, we didn't turn out to be doctors and lawyers and whatnot, what people think is a success. We're more of a freelance kind of people. Um, my son, I think now I'm just more accepting of it now in the past two years. That it is what it is. And it's just probably going to be us for a while. And I'm okay with that. My son has a little hard time with it because he sees his friends and his cousins with their dad in the home when we go visit. And I'm sure he misses it. But at the same time, I was willing to raise him in a functional home instead of a dysfunctional home and that was my ultimate goal but I wanted to ask you guys like do you guys ever think that your kids life is not gonna be where it's supposed to be because of your divorce like yes the kids go through the emotional part of it but at the end of the day I think sometimes it, sh it, it shapes them and it makes them a little bit stronger because they dealt with that when kids deal with heartbreak in a in a healthy way meaning like we went through counseling, me and my son, and we talk about things. I actually really take the time to see how he's feeling. And I don't suppress what he's dealing with, what he's feeling with, feeling. Um, and I think that makes him better. So do you guys deal with that? Like, I want to hear some comments and some feedback of how did you transition from the mom guilt of your divorce to your children now? Also, too... One of the things I felt was that my son was less loved 
that was a thing that really got to me. Like, maybe he's not as loved as he should be if he doesn't have both parents. I felt like, did we love him enough to not tolerate or deal with? I mean, a lot of things went through my head, and I feel like part of it was the, the enemy just trying to just discourage me and keep me down. But like I said, it's so many single women out there, single moms out there who've done it. What makes my son a special case that we can't do it? So once I start thinking like that, like, girl, bye. And then not only that, my mom was a single mom before she met my father. Now, mind you, her and my dad got married when I was four, so I don't think that really counts because now they're married, but she did it too. And they were never married. My, my biological father, my mother, were never married, but she was making her way, and we were doing it. She said they had, we created a good routine, and that's what me and my son are doing. We're creating a good routine for our life. Everything is ordered, bedtime, uh, school, sports, everything is organized. And the good thing is that I'm at a good place with my ex-husband that we can kind of be on the same page with the parenting and the discipline and things like that. So just, you know, give me a little feedback on your, of your mom guilt and what you dealt with. But I wanted to say something too. I have wrote a few notes down when it comes to mom guilt. Um, as far as like discipline, don't discipline your kids out of guilt overcompensating out of guilt meaning like you just feel like you have to give them my son had a bunch of toys because i felt like okay the toy is gonna comp it's gonna help them feel better or this is gonna help them. i was overcompensating but at the same time not realizing i was spoiling him and it was not benefiting him at any any form or fashion so don't do that also um just the the mere fact that the traditional family that I didn't have, I was ashamed of too. Like, I have a son and I'm a single mom and how people view me. That was part of my guilt too. Going to basketball, baseball practice with him and we, I, me, me and my son were the only single family. Like, dad will come when he can if he's not working, but the rest of his teammates have both of their parents. So I just feel guilty about that. Like, they have their mom and their dads supporting them at the baseball games. I thank God for my dad because my dad showed up to every single game. So though I am a single mom, he definitely has a, a man figure around him, which is his grandfather. My, my dad showed up at every game. And I think he only missed one the whole season. It was like 30 games. So I think his track record is pretty good. But let me know what you guys think of mom guilt. Do you deal with mom guilt after your divorce or after a breakup if you guys live together how did you deal with it how did you bounce back how did your children bounce from that and then when you start to discipline how did they switch up too did they notice that oh mom is putting a hammer down let me not you know i think my son knows now i can just give him a look and he know like you better straighten up <laughs> when before i'd be like oh don't do that baby but i have to i have to learn how to discipline in a better way because of my mom guilt so in saying that i want you guys to just you know not be so hard on yourself don't be guilty don't parent out of guilt it's okay it's not the end of the world because you're a single mom you're not the only single mom on earth it's been done hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years ago the end of the day make sure you think about it you do it and you be it